Okay, you got the vapor kit here again. I made a video just a few days ago about me showing you how a lawnmower ran without a carburetor. And I put down truth or lies. Well, I'm going to show you a system that I'm going to put on my truck. And this will easily run anybody's truck. All you got to do is hook it into the fuel rail. First of all, we got the tank over here that I'm going to pressurize. It's on empty. And if you come over to here, I got the torch. I've been leaving it run open so you can see that there's nothing there. I'm going to go ahead and shut the valve off on the torch itself. I'll show you the system that I'm running. Over here, as I call it, my uh, wicking system. It's got a whole bunch of filters in it that's saturated with fuel. And in the bottom right here, it's running in. It's only got that much fuel, about a cup. The rest is soaking it up and it's blowing air across the intake, it's going in, blowing air across the filters, shooting up to the top, coming out of the discharge, all the way down to the dryer, and then over to my oilless air pump, which it sucks it in and shoots it down into the tank and pressurizes it. So I'll show you right now what it does. Shut the valve off. Kick the pump on. And I'll let it pump up to 40 pounds. And then I'll show you what this thing does. Now mind you, when you hook this to your fuel rail, Make sure you pull your fuel relay out so it kills the fuel pump. And just pressurize your fuel rail with gas vapor. Instead of running using gasoline, wasting it, which normally every time the injector squirts a little bit of fuel into the cylinder, just remember, it's the vapor that burns, not the liquid. You burn just what's being thrown off of the liquid as a vapor. The rest is going out your tailpipe. So you're wasting a lot of gas, and you're burning very little vapor. We're up to about 20, 30 pounds right now. Kick it off at 40 pounds, and I'll show you what this thing is. Kick it off. Open the gas valve. Come over to here. Turn the light off so you can better see it. And Here's what your pressure is doing. Okay. You got a little flame.
And if you're out in the woods, you can cook with your frying pan. Got your own little Coleman cooking stove. But with this type of a system, there's on no telling how many miles you can put on your car. I know you can at least get over well over 100 miles to the camp. Poe did it back in 1932. He was getting 200 miles to the gallon. And it was proved. Tom Ogle was getting 200 miles to the gallon. And it was proved. But there you go. You can make your car run on vapor. And It'd be nice to go into the station and not have to be a slave chilling out 40 or 50 bucks to fill your gas tank, if not more. On one gallon of gas, you could drive it for weeks. be hooking this up to my truck and seeing what she does and I'll keep you informed. Get back with you later. Paper kit. <laughs> 